Good morning, friends. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms that are watching right now. And that is what our message is going to be about today. We're going to talk about Mother's Day. We're going to talk about what the Bible says about Mother's Day. We're going to talk about Jesus and his mother. And we're going to talk about what you can do for your mother to make her feel special today. So the Bible tells us that we are to honor our mothers. Um, it tells us that in the Ten Commandments. It tells us that in other places. And so that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to listen. He wants us to obey. He wants us to help. He wants us to love. He wants us to do all those things for our moms. And one of the greatest examples of how to love your mother is how Jesus loved his mother. And so let's talk about that for a second. Mary, that's Jesus's mother. You probably know that. She is one of, she's the only person that was there when Jesus was born and then also when Jesus died. And she was also there when he was resurrected, depending on which gospel you read. And um, so let's talk about her for a minute and, and what she went through. Because at Easter time, I always think about Jesus's mom because it's a lot, right? And, you know, she, she saw Jesus die and that's so sad. And so let's talk about, let's talk about her for a second. So uh, before Jesus was born, the angel came and told her that she was going to have a baby and she was going to name it Jesus and it was going to be God's baby. And I bet that was a little scary for her because she was young and she wasn't married yet. And she didn't know what to do or who would believe her or what they would say about her. And then Jesus was born and she had to run away from the people um, that were gonna that wanted to hurt Jesus and they had to run away to Egypt so that was probably scary for her but she trusted God and then one time when Jesus was 12 he um, was at the temple and then they left and then Jesus was missing and that was probably scary for her too and they found him and Jesus said oh silly I was I was at the temple I was at my father's house because that's what the temple is it's where God lives and after that she you know she thought about all of those things that he said and the Bible says that she pondered them in her heart she kept them in her heart because she knew that Jesus was God's son and she needed to remember that and to trust God that it would be okay that he would be okay and so Jesus after that he honored his mother and he listened to her and then we hear about um, Jesus when he grew up the very first time that he uh, performs a miracle in public was at a wedding and his mother was there and at the wedding they ran out of wine to drink and Mary said to Jesus why don't you go help them you can help them you you help them and he said it's not time for me to do that yet and she she asked him again and he did it he listened and he turned the water into wine and the party was saved and everybody had a great time and I think that Mary probably knew that Jesus could do stuff like that um, because she knew he was God's son and how special he was and he listened to his mother and then Jesus grows up goes through his ministry and then he is going to be put on the cross to die and Mary is there and Mary is standing at the cross when Jesus is hanging on the cross and Jesus knows that his mother's gonna need someone to take care of them he's gonna need someone to take care of her sorry and because Joseph, his earthly father, he, he was dead. He died. And Jesus had other brothers and sisters. Um, but they probably weren't listening to Jesus yet. They probably didn't believe that Jesus was God's son and all that kind of stuff. And so Jesus wanted Mary to be taking care of somebody that believed what was going on. So he told John, his disciple and best friend, um, that he wanted him to take care of Jesus. That he wanted him to take care of Mary. Oh my gosh, my words are backwards today. Wanted him, wanted John to take care of Mary. And he said to her, woman, this is your son and this now is your mother. And so John knew that he was being responsible now for Mary. And so that was a way that Jesus honored her right before he died. Because he wanted to make sure she was safe and she was okay. And then Jesus came back. And his friends saw him and we know the story because it just happened at Easter, right? We just heard that story. So Jesus honored his mother all of those times. He listened to her. He, um, he obeyed her. He followed God's rule and he listened to, to his mom. And so I want us to remember that, that we're supposed to do that all the time. We're supposed to listen to our moms all the time. 
Now, another thing that we can um, that we can do because it's Mother's Day is we can show her that we love her and thank her today. Um, because today is not the only day we're supposed to honor our moms. The Bible doesn't say only honor your moms on the second Monday of May. No, it doesn't say that at all. It says honor your mom all the time, right? So, but today's just a special day that we say thank you. So, since we didn't get to go to school and we didn't get to make a craft or we didn't get to pop, maybe go to the store and buy things because we all have to stay home, there's lots of things that you can do for her at home to tell her that you love her. You can draw her a picture. You can go outside and pick flowers. You can give her a great big hug. You can clean your room. You can wash the dishes. You can sweep the floor. You can do all of those things. And sometimes those things can be kind of fun. Like when I was little, I loved the dishes and playing in the soap bubbles and having fun with that. It was a fun thing to do. So I want you to think of something special that you can do for your mom to show her that you love her today. Okay? Let's say a prayer and then we'll say goodbye. Okay. Dear God, we thank you for your son. We thank you for his love and we thank you for the example of how to honor our mother through Jesus. We thank you for Mary and everything that she did for Jesus and that she accepted the challenge to be his mother. We pray, Father, that you will help us to remember those things and to help us to honor our mothers today and every day. We love you, God. Amen. All right, friends. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.